This is more than just holding up fittings and guessing the distance between them. There is a very specific calculation that goes into a rolling offset, and once you know that, you can put pipes together in a professional way that will astound you. Hey, Plumber Tom here. A true plumber or pipe fitter is going to know how to calculate a rolling offset. Many state tests for journeyman or master plumber licenses require the understanding of this math. This is more than just holding up fittings and guessing the distance between them. Now check out these pipes. This is a series of rolling offsets and offsets at a facility near where I live. This is the kind of work that you are capable of if you know how to do the math. There are very specific calculations involved with creating a rolling offset. In this video, we're going to talk about what is a rolling offset and how do you calculate that. First of all, let's consider what is a rolling offset. A rolling offset it differs from a regular offset in that it moves in two directions, up and over. Or we call this the rise and the offset. In the rolling offset that we are considering, we will be using two 45 degree fittings and therefore we'll be dealing with the right triangle with two 45 degrees. Now remember, a right triangle with two 45 degrees has two sides that are the same length. So in this diagram, you can see that A is equal to B. To calculate the diagonal between those 45 degree angles, we need A and B, but typically that is not what we are given. However, we do know the offset and the rise, and these form another triangle. If we calculate the diagonal for the triangle created by the offset and the rise, then we will have our measurement for the true offset, which is equal to A and B in our 45 degree right triangle. Now, in most cases, the triangle created by the offset and the rise have sides that are not the same length, so A does not equal B. In addition to the 90 degree angle, there are two other angles in this triangle which are not 45 degrees, and while they could be calculated, that's not something we need to know in order to calculate a rolling offset. It is important to note that because this triangle has two sides that are not the same length, and we're not dealing with 45 degree angles, we cannot use 1.414 to calculate the diagonal. With that understanding, let's calculate a rolling offset with an offset of 5 inches and a rise of 3 inches. In order to do this, we will need to use the Pythagorean Theorem, which we explored in Plumber Math Part 2 in our video series. The Pythagorean Theorem states that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So with that as our starting point, let's calculate using what we know. a times a plus b times b equals c times c. That's 5 times 5 plus 3 times 3 equals c times c. 25 plus 9 equals c times c. 34 equals c times c. To find c, we will take the square roots of both sides of the equation. We will use a calculator and take the square root of 34 to find c, which is equal to 5.83. So now we know that our triangle with an offset of 5 and a rise of 3 has a diagonal of 5.83. This 5.83 is the true offset, which is equal to the setback. Okay, now we go back to working with our triangle that has two 45 degree angles and two sides that are the same. We've calculated the true offset and the setback at 5.83. To find the diagonal, which is where our pipe will run, we will multiply the setback by 1.414. Remember, the diagonal equals the setback times 1.414. So in our case, this would be 5.83 times 1.414, and our diagonal will be 8.24. So now we know our diagonal is 8.24, and the other two sides of our right triangle with two 45 degree angles are 5.83. We have calculated our rolling offset. Now when you are actually cutting the pipe, make sure to subtract the fitting allowance from the diagonal for each of those 45 degree fittings on either side. And finally, let's review. When calculating for a rolling offset, we first take 
our offset and our rise, that would be a and b, and put them through the Pythagorean theorem of a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Once we have calculated for c, then we will times that by 1.414 to get our diagonal, which is where the pipe actually runs. That's it. That is how you calculate a rolling offset. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out all of my plumber math videos in the series for a full understanding of offsets, the Pythagorean theorem and rolling offsets. Also, if you are preparing for a journeyman or master plumber test, make sure to purchase my book. The link is listed below. It's a great resource to help you get ready. Thanks.